too late to turn, the silent risk behind routine operations. The plant hummed with life, pumps turning, valves aligned, everything working as it should. It was a day like any other, calm and predictable, with every system functioning in harmony. Operators followed routines, unaware that just beneath the surface, something was about to go very wrong. It started with a leak, just a whisper at first, a soft hiss barely audible over the hum of the machinery. But then the pump ignited, a fire broke out, surging violently, and within moments, access to the suction and delivery valves was lost. The flames were too intense. The system designed to be controlled was now uncontrolled. Yet there was hope. A second valve, hidden in the suction line between the pump and the tank, positioned in the tank dike, it was meant to serve as a backup in just such emergencies. But it hadn't been touched in months, maybe years. When they tried to turn it, it wouldn't budge. Rusted, stiff, forgotten. Every valve that might need to be operated during an emergency, whether manual or automatic, must be tested regularly. Not just when it's convenient. If a full test interrupts production, then test partially, but always test, because theory alone won't stop a disaster. When danger strikes, hesitation is deadly. If you wait until a shutdown to find out a valve is stuck, you've waited too long. The final layer of protection, the emergency blowdown valve, is only useful if it works. Test them, maintain them, your safety depends on it.